Hey everyone, welcome to another Minecraft Redstone tutorial video. Today we will be covering Instant Redstone. So if you're interested in anything, come well, related to Instant Redstone, that be it creations or simply tips and tricks, do follow up on my channel, you know, like, subscribe, leave a comment, you can even join my Discord. You're welcome in, well, you're welcome in my Discord. Uh, and yeah, let's get straight into it. So first of all, I'm going to explain the most useful of all uh, three, well there's actually there's four things you can do instant redstone with. So how comparator priming works is that, well, basically, comparators cannot, they cannot perform an operation with just one update, right? And if they're updated in the same tick, uh, well there has to be some event delay, right? So basically when you do things with redstone, they're put in an order. And that order is what we use to, well, do comparator priming. So here I'm gonna show you exactly how the steps are. So here we input power, right? It goes here, but that's gonna wait, okay? First of all, it goes here, and one tick after, that's one tick before this goes off, it sends a signal to this. Then it comes here, and as you see, there is a rail down here. Now rails actually have a lower update order than uh, just pure dust. And how rails update is that they update from the last block towards the first one, so that works. And as you see, after that is done, you input the actual thing. Now this can be any signal strength, we just use a 15 here because it's the most compact. Uh, and as you see here, it does actually perform well. Now how we check if a comparator did get primed because they won't turn on is by using a bug. This is just an update detector. Observers won't work, but as you see here, if I put an item, well if I do it without an item, right, that doesn't work. If I put dust in there, it does actually update. So that's just one of many ways to do instant redstone. Uh, this next one I'm about to show you uses pistons, well two of them use pistons. And how it works, right, basically, when you power this, right, this unpowers the piston because it's not a full block, right? And that updates the piston as well. So that retracts and that creates a zero tick pulse. Basically, it teleports the block, right? As you see there. Now, this can be used to create some pretty interesting mechanics. Over here is just an AND gate. That is instant. Now, the next thing we can use to create instant redstone is pulses under one tick long. So, we call this zero ticking. A bud can actually create a zero tick pulse. So, as you see there, that's shorter than a tick. Over here is the standard design. It uses, well, uh, comparators and the repeaters have different update order, right? And as you see here, it actually does not work with just an observer. It goes straight through. So, you have to power it with a lever. Over here is my design. I'm gonna explain the update order here. So, this goes here, right? It powers this observer, which automatically goes, updates this and this. This is updated instantly. So this is also updated instantly. But since this one doesn't have that additional, uh, well, rail of delay, right? It actually does produce a zero tick. Now how we check is by trying to piston an entity. In my case, a armor stand. And as you see, the block does actually enter it. Now, how do we control update order? Well, there's a few different designs and I'm gonna show you a couple of them. First of all, our rails. Rails update from the last, uh, well, the end of where you powered them, right? So this will update from that side to this side. Over here, we have uh, a quasi-connectivity based one. And if we power that, you see, and update it. Plus if I unpower it, it does that instantly. They actually updates from the area where you updated it. So that's from this side. Over here we have a, well, this is using buds, right? So this bud goes and it updates all of the other ones. All right, place that. You see all three get updated. This first, then that, then that. Over here we do have actually walls. Now walls can be controlled with trapdoors and they update from top to bottom. These are instant and even recyclable, very useful. Over here we have droppers, uh, just to demonstrate the That does go through. Over here, we have, uh, well, you can use sticky pistons to actually cancel the ripple, right? This is useful in some mechanics and some machines, but not always. Now here we have a zero tick using instant repeater. 
how it works is basically this piston constantly get up, gets updated and when that happens uh, well it does that now it doesn't work for me because i have a mod that fixes this locationality otherwise this is somewhat locational so be careful with that there's definitely other designs i just don't know them so yeah either way uh over here this is just something i would like to mention when you well if you put our update order you know into droppers that actually move items right so if you check that if i put that there uh how you check if a comparator was primed of course as i said use a bud right and this is a way to prime them just a neat mechanic uh now of course alongside that wire we also have to use uh well we also need to use comparator wire right uh, so this is the old hex design this is also a good example of how to use the buds together with the well comparator priming uh, it does work i already showed that and of course we have the new design that also works with that now over there uh as you see i have carpet now carpet is a one-time way to basically create a bunch of update order as you see if i were to break that it all breaks going from the bottom up over here i also have a good example of how to invert update order so when i click that it shuts them all off for one tick starting over here how it works is that this one gets updated and it turns all the dust on so it primes all of these and then this one powers this one and it shuts it off and they all periodically get shut off now of course redstone torches do burn out so be careful with high hertz uh contraptions using them so what you need to do is you need to have different uh well different machines that work together and shift in between each other and it's not that hard uh eight ticks well at eight uh, on and ons and offs are required for one redstone torch to uh well burn out and so that means eight ticks right seven ticks on one seven ticks on another and you need to use four of them to just have a consistent five well that's actually infinite hertz they can do 10 hertz with four of them now that's actually everything I had to say about Instant Redstone. So if you'd like to talk about it, if you have any questions, head over to my Discord or comment. Of course, like, subscribe, uh, leave feedback and all. And I'll see you next time.